Hi, welcome to Tony's Quick Tips. You believe in the value that you give with your advice, don't you? Do you believe in the value of listening to good advice too? Just as it is with clients, good advice makes a heck of a difference to the outcomes that they will get from their planning, and so it is with us as business owners. Good advice makes a difference to the outcome that we get from our business planning. Now, many professional practices are essentially small businesses, which is a great model for many owners because it provides a blend of preferred work, decent income, and some lifestyle balance. But injecting fresh thinking and accountability can be really tough to achieve. So more and more professionals are looking into the concept of having an advisory board, which is not the same as appointing a full board of independent directors with a formal governance structure. An advisory board tends to be small, usually just one to three people, of excellent commercial skill and background who can help create strategic clarity. Now in all respects, the people on an advisory board will generally be very, very capable directors in a formal setting. But there's the key difference. An advisory board is relatively informal and the opinions and the input are not binding on the business owner. You can choose to follow the suggestions and their input or not. It's still your business, it's managed by you and it's controlled by you. A good advisor board, though, will help in the following ways. It'll create accountability for you as a manager of the business. It will question and challenge the thinking and the planning in the business. It'll clarify strategy and business objectives, help design effective systems and policies, introduce additional networking opportunities, and that's a big one, and it produces a robust method of introducing structure and thoughtful decision-making that busy professionals often just don't have time to think about. So it's like having a team of specialist business advisors on the payroll without actually having to have them permanently on the payroll. If chosen properly, they will be well positioned and well credentialed and they'll bring skills, expertise and networks that you don't possess. Now they should be paid, which also increases your chances of getting the best out of them and using the advisory board wisely. So appointing an advisory board at a cost is a great way of moving a small professional practice out of being just a job and evolving it into a business with a future. So get some business advisors and get them on board if you want your business to grow. And that's the quick tip for today.